Good evening, everybody. Our respected Sri Rajkumar, Ranjan Singh, the Honorable Union Minister of State, External Affairs and Education, Excellency Governors, Excellency Ambassadors of Cuba, Iceland, Jamaica, Panama, and Paraguay, my honorable colleagues, ministers, advisors, and honorable legislators, Council General of Germany, officials of the Confederation of India Industries, all the G20 esteemed delegates who have come from far and near, my beloved local entrepreneurs, friends from the media, participants, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure and a pleasant duty on behalf of the people of Nagaland. I extend a warm welcome to all of you to this land of festival, also known as land of warriors. A history of Naga Wars are in books of proud head huntings. But after the Christianity came to our land, that worship of head hunting has been transformed into salt warriors and peace warriors. So you need not be afraid and I'm extremely happy and I appreciate that you could come and visit us. Maybe many of you, it may be the first time, but I hope it will be only a beginning. Nagaland is a state of tribals. We have many tribals comprising of different and various tribes spread over and across the neighboring state also like Assam, 
Manipur, Arunachal, and even extend to the beyond our country. A big group of Nagas are also living in Myanmar. They are recognized people. They have Nagas self-autonomous government in Sagain division. And though bad time is on the military rule, otherwise Naga we are spread over in the northeastern states and across the border, though Nagaland is a small state. We are proud to be a Naga and we are proud to have you in our land. Tonight, this welcome dinner for the G20 Business Summit is arranged by the CII and as a host I thank them for their hard works and arranging all these evenings with and also tomorrow business summit. I'm happy that the Northeast Regional Manager CII is here. I thank you for the good job done to us. And Nagaland has nothing much. We still lack in infrastructure developmental activities, but we have a good weather with granaries and probably about 80% forest cover. So basically, we live with modern nature. We are very rich in tradition and our culture. And also we have our customary practices, which from the British time, we tribals have been protected. You might have heard about the Bengal Eastern Frontier Regulation Act 1873, which protected us and even in the Indian Union, the government of India had given a special protection in the Indian Constitution in Article 371A. And that's how we could continue to promote our rich tradition, our culture, and our usages. Of course, tonight we'll be highlighting and you'll have a glimpse of the tribal colors in their uh, tradition, the songs and dances, the fusion, and also the moderns. So, I don't want to waste much time, but I hope your stay in Nagaland will be pleasant and have Nagaland experience. Enjoy the evening and over dinner, we are trying to arrange even some Naga cuisines. So, those who like to taste other things, you may have that opportunity also. So with these words, I once again welcome all of you, especially G20 delegates, and I wish you all a fruitful and memorable Nagaland experience. Thank you and Jai Hind. Destination, which elaborately explains the investment opportunity in Nagaland. We shall now release the book and I invite the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Shirini Puryo, to kindly officially release it. Thank you.
Nagaland, where hornbill, tiger, and human are siblings, united by one universal spirit and kin with our jungles and earth, where seasons and the rhythms of Mother Earth guide us to the fields, to sow, cultivate, and harvest, where nature bids us to prepare for festivities. This is Nagaland, home to rainbows, where the past offers a roadmap for humanity's future. Welcome to Nagaland, the land of festivals.